Oh, sideways. Oh, God. Ugh. It's 9.07. Time, of, time officially starts now. <laughs> Have a okay. good day at work, everyone. <laughs> what did I say? I said four hours? I said four hours, so do my math, carry the two. <laughs> <laughs> so see. we should be done at 13, uh, 13.07. Yep, yep. Yeah. 13.07. So it's a big maple removal today. We've just got a couple obstacles. We got a shed, and um, but we got a pretty open drop zone right here. So uh I'll show you this i just got this done two days ago kind of exciting i, I got uh, i got stickers on my truck and i got my bucket truck done as well probably want to put something on the box at some point too but yep finally got some decals on the truck and then i got a qr code for my youtube channel right there too so i'm pretty happy with how it turned out but yeah and i got the, the bucket truck done as well Ugh, i keep forgetting that hang my saddle someplace dry it's, it's wet we're gonna be using the grcs today you can buy these from my site sappysupplies.com you can buy most of the stuff i use from sappy supplies we're going with the grcs because we might need to actually pull some of this that might get tanked we might need to pull some of that tangled stuff out i don't think we'll need to use the grcs i'll just hook it up to me yeah <laughs> you are the grcs yeah. you are the winch this is a big maple well, we're big men, Randy. <laughs> so uh, I nominate myself as tribute for this cut at the very end for the, bottom cut. For the butt cut. All right. That sounds I good. You're gonna, that sounds not gonna right. use your uh, your husky. Yeah, husky. Husqvarna sent Randy a saw. He got a uh, 562, so 62 cc's roughly. Five series saw. They make it simple, easy to understand, but this thing's really light. It's a cool saw. I'm putting it through the ringer. Did you max out the bar? Yeah, I was firewooding down, really? maxing out the bar, and it was still it was a comp too. I was uh, getting. Well, I put a I put an edge on my blade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know people yeah. love that, and so I put my own edge on my blade, and uh, it was just shredding through this firewood. Bucklight tight. These are Bucklight titanium spurs. These are with the big buck pads. I think they're called. They're freaking sweet. They're they're so nice. I notice you're not climbing in your climbers. Yeah. I actually sent them to uh, Jay. My right foot started to kind of act, act a fool. <laughs> my, my right foot, I started to like. I think the shank might be broken or something because I can it like feel. Because you usually I can't really feel the spurs that much in those boots, but my right foot I could. So I sent them back to JK to get. They're gonna resole them for me. That's cool. Or something. They're gonna look at them. This is control rope from Petzl that I'm trying out because I. I actually sell this rope on my site and it's really popular people really like it so i'm like I, petzl stuff generally is really nice but uh climb if i'm selling it i should probably climb with it you know yeah uh do you need me to bring an extra battery probably will run out of battery i got three bars out of four i did a massive fur yesterday double trunked huge limbs on one big battery I, I topped it out and took two chunks of wood before i needed a big i basically did it all till a big saw i was so happy the drop zone's this side, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna climb up this side. I just hopped in this because it's closest, but I'm actually gonna hop over here. I'm gonna tie into, see this is the, both the tallest and it hangs over the drop zone. So I'm gonna set my block up there, a pulley, and lower it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, lower everything down on that side. Now oh, this rope is sweet. Uh, petzl so so they they make the splice so that you can fit it in a zigzag like if you if you tie a string to it <laughs> they, they it actually comes with a little tiny chunk of throw line to like feed through and it's like tie this to the splice and then you you pull this through the zigzag and i did that yesterday and i was like dude it was not that easy <laughs> it wasn't just a quick no i was like i'd rather just run it through the tail cancel what happened sometimes my cena will all of a sudden go say a command say a command and it's I have to say cancel. It's really weird. My scene is perfect and has never done that ever. <laughs> I like how high vis this rope is though. Definitely a cut deterrent. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Petzl stuff is always just super high quality. I don't know. Absolutely. I probably would pick Petzl for my favorite if I had to pick one brand. 
I really do like their carabiners. Yeah, I, I do too. No, I, I mean, I, honestly, I, I like pretty much everything. The only complaint I have is really the zigzag. I hate it's not midline attachable, but it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. What you're saying is it's not a deal breaker. I have a zigzag, I just don't use it. I'm just such a, I don't know, someone might call it old school, but I don't feel it's old school, a, pr a Prusik climber. Yeah, the Prusik is fun as well. I guess all of it has its place. You want me to move those saws or are you just gonna blast that down? You think he'll be mad if I just blast the saw? I might hit that boxwood a little bit. <sighs> Boxwoods grow, right? <laughs> I don't need to, I mean, I'm gonna hang a block. I can just... I mean, if you wanna make it, I... Yeah, you're probably right. We should probably maintain a, a reputable lawn. I'm just gonna toss it. I'm just gonna, I forgot I'm super strong. Wait, do it that way. I want it that way. Tell me why. <laughs> you can't deny a jingly tune. I'm sorry. Nickelback gets all this rap, bad rap, <laughs> and then you hear it and you're just immediately Nickelbacking. Same with Backstreet Boys, or was that in sync? Uh, I think it was in sync. I think it might be Backstreet Boys. I don't know. They're both boy bands to me that had some good. Had some good tunes. Yeah, good songs that we lied about. The songs that we lied about not liking as the kids. But, but yeah, listen to it in secret. <laughs> Man, my saw wasn't uh, pulling the chain very well the other day. Yeah. And it was all, I was like, what the heck? I changed the chain and it wasn't really any better. What happened? What was the deal? It was a little bit, I forgot. I always forget about dressing the rails. Oh, about uh, like filing them down? Yeah, because the, the bar kind of mushrooms out over time a little bit. And now it's cutting awesome again. So then I did it with one of my bigger bars and it cuts smoother as well. I was like, I always forget to do this. Yeah, this thing's got a lot of trunk. Dude, whoa. Wow. That was, like, I'm glad you're okay, but that was also awesome. Yeah, dude, that happened to me early on climbing a maple. I mean, it, like, hit me in the helmet and, like, almost knocked me out. Is, uh, Hunters, like, taking the rest of the off? Yeah, next week we're not working at all. Is it paid time off? You know, I don't even know yet, to be honest with you. I haven't, uh, haven't even really asked. I should probably, that's something that I should probably be uh, a little bit more about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably a little different, different for you because you're only part-time. Pretty easy for, I don't even worry about too much there. They got it, they got it handled and they usually. I mean, I wouldn't really expect them to give you because of your situation, you know? I would I would expect them to give me everything. <laughs> of course. I'm like, do you know who I am? You know how many subs me and Jake have? <laughs> do you know I'm a part of a channel? <laughs> <laughs> I am a secondary character. <laughs> I have over 500,000 subscribers. <laughs> me and Jake each do. Yeah, we each take half. <laughs> so. I did this in that elm, the sprawling, I mean, pop, tulip poplar video, but I was just, I'm just trying to get a little more meat into the system here so that there's not so much force on this because I'm going to try to lower some big stuff. So I just got this strap on here and clip. This is an ultra sling. I, I actually kind of like the dead eye slings better. You can actually get them tighter than these ultra slings. They're, they're okay, I guess. See, I'd like to tie in as high as possible, but kind of don't want to be on the spar I'm rigging off of, but I don't really see any better spots up there. I always want to try to tie in as high as you can, but also in the middle as much as you can on a tree like this. You know? This tree's kind of a mess up here, man. I know. So many branches. They're not very good branches for tying into. If I, I could, if I had a friction saver, I could tie really anywhere. And uh, if I single end, I could tie in anywhere, but I think I'm going to tie into this actually. Well, then it's hard to get over here, though, so I'm just going to rock this. Yeah. Are you about to send that whole top? Dude, I probably can, huh? I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. All right. Yeah, big top. I'm standing in front of it while I cut because that's more comfortable. I don't want to be, like, doing the whole reach around thing, but I am going to move before I do the back cut. Cut 
kind of awkward. Man, really tight spaces in here. Is, that is tight quarters, I hate that. It's a good thing I'm so trim and slender. <laughs> it's hard for me being a fat guy. Well, your abs would probably. Fat guy in a skinny guy's body. <laughs> fat guy in a totally shredded body. Totally, absolutely ripped <laughs> and chiseled. Yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, buddy. That was awesome. I've been using this battery saw for years, man. I still am impressed by it. Yeah, you think. Hold on. I know Kung Fu, so. <laughs> Tickled your beard. It whipped me. Whoa. <laughs> Boxwood down. I feel like I claustrophobic in this tree, man. Yeah, it'll be a nice. Do you have a, are you gonna be a second? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's trees like this where it's almost like equal work to chip the brush. Kinda. You know? This guy's super cool though. I bet if you get really buried, he'd come and push everything with his tractor. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna ask him here in a little bit. Nice. You thought that was nice. Check this one out. Yeah, even nicer. Razzle dazzle. Ah, I think it moved a lot. Yeah, that did cycle quite a bit. It's one of those wiggly trees. My favorite. My, fa my favorite. Sturdy is overplayed, dude. <laughs> I, yeah, I, dude, nothing is more annoying than climbing a nice sturdy tree. Preach on, brother. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't wiggle, I don't even want to do it. I want to have nothing to do with that nonsense. The wiggly the better. Holes, I love it. Another top? Yeah, please feed it. Feed the beast, which is the chasm of this, of this ravine. The ravine. Another whippy. Oh, I thought, are you all right? You okay? I blocked it like Kung Fu Panda, but it hurt my fingers. It whippied you? Yeah, you know. I blocked it so it didn't hit my face, but it hurt my fingers. Don't want it to hit the money maker. I understand that. Yeah, I kind of like, I'm just getting mad at this tree. By being mad at the tree, you're kind of being mad at me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I I bid, I, I came out here, signed us up for the project. Do you want me to ring? You should have watched from this one. Ring the bell? Yep. Ring my bell. <gasps> ring my bell. Well, that's coming up, I'm gonna, and boom. Oh, sorry, I went. I was... No, you're, that's even better. I like it when it's scary. Wiggly scary, I like it all. We should really start a band, you know? The way our voices were harmonizing there. You, so you hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just dreaming. <laughs> oh, sideways. Oh God. Ugh. You all right? Dude, I hate this tree. <laughs> It's uh, the it's so twisted together. It's crazy. Look at that. That's twisted all the way at the tippies, dude. Twisted Maple. That's our band name. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool band name. <laughs> we are Twisted Maple. Good night. I almost think I can slash cut this thing. I'm just going to do. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh. 
Gotcha. Say hello to your mother for me. <laughs> That's like the best thing to say after anything. You like that? Say hello to your mother for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Works for everything. Okay, ready? Uh, yeah, what do you think? You want me to give it a pull? Or you think you know for sure I got it because I'm that strong? Uh, well, it is a feat of strength, so I'm sure you've got it. Oh, then absolutely, if it's a feat of strength. Yeah, go ahead and give it a tug. Yeah. With a tug like that. <laughs> hey. Ah! You all right? Dude. Dude. I think it's mutual. It's so tangled, it's like... Ah. That broke from you jiggling it. Not that it's your fault, but... I'm still mad. I deserve the blame. It is my fault. I did pull. I love those, like, would you call that a blind face cut? Yeah, it actually matched but up that, perfect. That's like a good blind face cut. You're, but it is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, it's a mess. Tricky maple. You're all good, buddy. All right, I'm gonna start wrenching this. I'm gonna lift it out. <laughs> Even over here, they're all tangled. It's crazy. Yeah, that's it. You're there. I can let it down? Yeah, but go ahead, try. No, 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 no. You're there. Yeah, go ahead, try to put it down. Send a freaking big old top, dude. Although it might break out this whole, <laughs> God, it's so tangled. I'm gonna let it run right into that pile. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I was like, I was like, I don't wanna stand on this and cut that. I think it's gonna break it. So I tied into this and did the splits out here, like all awkward like, and I'm glad I was not tied into that. That would have been freaking violent. And that's a perfect example of where it's safer for one hand than two, you know, because I was standing far away when I cut it. Instead of right up against it with two hands, you know. Hold on, I gotta move to cut that one. They're like spring loaded too. Like they're so uh, bent over and tip heavy. And just rope grabby. Yeah, everything about this tree is tough. And we can switch if you want. You definitely got the harder job down there. I don't care about that. I just feel bad for you. You're... I actually don't know who's got the worst end of this stick. Yeah, there's there's no there's no good good way about it. I'm gonna ask. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna run a battery here soon. I probably just asked for my gas one. The gasser? I'll go grab it and get it ready. The battery's great and all, but we'll get into some big wood. Yeah, it's 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 ripping time. I'll probably just take the gas one before I run out of battery halfway. Okay, bringing out the big guns.
saw is insane, man. That is a gnarly saw. It's so nuts. I was actually thinking, Jake, in my, just to make that side that's over that cedar easy, I feel like I could tie off the GRCS how it is and use like the, the lowering end and whip it to, we could, we could zip line out all those gnarly pieces. Like you could just hook them up and I could just pull and they would. Uh, by hand? Yeah, I feel like they just need to make it to right here, you know? They don't need to make it all the way to me. Yeah, maybe. It's a tough play in that, uh, that cedar. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm doing just a shoot job down here. I'm trying to get them all in the area and sucking at it. This is frustrating. Maybe it would be nice to just take turns, you know? It's up to you. I mean, I feel like I definitely hate it down there too. I just, uh, <laughs> I might just cut this now. It's literally not gonna go anywhere. Do it. Oh, well. You want me to just put wrap it on there? Give me one sec. I didn't think you need to, but maybe. You think I'm gonna have to lift it out? For sure, dude. It's so tangled. It's really, it's, it's really bad. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of here. It's all. Cranker doodle dandy, man. Hold on. I'm just getting to the, the cranking part. Sorry, I had to clear out the, everything was on the rope and that last branch just wasn't good. Wasn't a good look. So how am I doing? You got a long ways to go, man. It's a marathon. You got like 12 feet to go and there's no other way to do this. Hey, you know what? Why don't you hang out for a minute? I think I can give you a bonus branch, make this a little easier. Perfect. Don't crank my heart. Achy, cranky heart. Just don't think you understand. And if you crank my heart, my achy, cranky heart. This branch will blow up and kill this man. <laughs> you all good? Yep. You might have to try to put it down. Here, hold on. Let me make some little cuts. I'll cut a tip off here. Maybe that'll help. It's so tangled. Okay, maybe that'll go. God. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> Just the stupidest maple I've ever done. I'm trying not to be such a negative Nancy. It's okay, Jake. It is stupid. Very deceiving, right? Yeah, it's every single limb is like its own little unique challenge. Well, when I saw it, I was like, ah, I just was basically looking at the bottom, you know, 50 feet, the wood and the bigger brush, but I didn't even look at, thinking how dumb the top could be as far as like, it just go up there lower tops, but it's like, they're all tangled within each other like a, like a nest. Yeah, if every tree I did was like this, I wouldn't even do tree work. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, holding. Good 
Great job. Oh my gosh, dude. These are frustrating as all. I can't lock this porter wrap off very well. I'm not this porter wrap, but this GRCS. It's like. What do you think about maybe taking a break and trading? I mean, I'm talking about for it if you want. I just know it's uh, both of them are frustrating. I mean, you're not you're not having a good time. I know neither of us are. But sometimes it's nice to just mix it up. I'm game if you want to. But let me chunk this stick down that I'm on, and then maybe we'll trade if you're down. You coming down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be nice. All right. So we're taking turn. We're two hours into this. It's just that's the nice thing about working with Randy is we're both like capable climbers. We can take turns, you know. So this job is just dumb. This tree is dumb. The groundwork's dumb. So we're just trading. It's just nice to kind of mix it up throughout the day. And we both are exp like if I was working with an experienced climber or something, I wouldn't necessarily do this because it would slow down. But it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't slow it down at all. This is just tedious stuff. It sucks down here. It sucks up there. I know I'm complaining a lot. I'm almost tempted to just stop filming because this is probably the world's worst video now because everything just keeps getting tangled. Like every branch is getting tangled in something else. And stuff is breaking and it's just, and then down here it's a mess. So we're, we're just, we're just, uh, we're just taking turns to sort of mix it up. We're, <laughs> we're having a blast. Yeah. Whee! Hey, this tree sucks. I'm having fun. <laughs> it's so weird because when I looked at it this morning, I was like, Oh yeah. When I looked at it, I came out here. I looked at it. I was like, there was all this stuff around the base. He's like, we'll clear all that out. I was like, Oh yeah, me and me and, me and Jake will have that licked in an hour and a half. Well, I haven't even licked it once. <laughs> uh, okay. It took me two hours to lick it. Have you used that rope before, that Petzl rope? You know, they sent me one about six months ago before it was ever out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never, I've never had the pleasure. Are we speed light in here? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have you drop, walk that out the little ways out. Oh shoot, this isn't a battery powered off. Are you ready? Did you choke it? No, I thought it was. No, it's cold. It gets cold quick. You got to do the chokey thing. Yeah, you gotta go forward and down and back. Come here! Dude, what the, what in tarnation? Every single thing on this tree is just, Silly goose. All right, I gotta go down there and. You sure? You sure I can't just? You ready for my full strength? Yeah, yeah. I would love full power of this, of this fully operational Star Destroyer <laughs> <laughs> or Battle Station. Battle. St <laughs> fully operational Battle Station. You sounded exactly like him. <laughs> I like Palpatine if he didn't know the force and lived in a different universe yeah oh you're so close like one big uh one big hurrah would don't know the power of the dark side whoa apparently i had to channel vader <laughs> channel vader as soon as i channeled vader <laughs> maybe vader someday later now he's just a small fry <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you all right? 
Oh my goodness, dude! <laughs> and all the groundies say I'm pretty fly. For a white guy. For a white guy, yeah. Whew, that was... That was gnarly, dude. You... Did you see me? Like, Yeah, I saw you go splat. Like, you took the... You took the blow, which, thank you. Yeah, it's just, you know, which is my favorite drug. <laughs> so that's, that's cool. Wow, that was, that, I was like a rag doll, dude. Yeah, that like didn't hook up till like halfway down there. Whew, that was wild. I'm gonna do something rather crazy too on the way down. Uh, yeah, I wish I would've tied that up you here. You want me to flick it to you? No, no, I'm not gonna zip line anymore. I'm actually gonna take that in and I'm gonna attach it probably right here. And I'm gonna come down and, and uh, to cut that on the butt. Yeah, okay, good idea. So I will take this back, take it out of zip line mode. We're out of zip line, we're out of the zip mode. I'm gonna send down some wood though real quick. Are you cool with that? I gotta use our husky to dice this up. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Look, they're sending you one now too? They told me I could just share yours. Oh, that was nice of Mr. Husky. <laughs> Mr. Husky, yeah. <laughs> I like this little saw. I think it's awesome. I'm very, uh, if you used it in the bucket too, you'd probably like it even, even more. Nice job, Jake. <sighs> Whew. You're a maniac, dude. Dude, you want to wrap around that tree or the the cedar? You just you're just getting whomped on down there. Maybe I will do a, a little rapid doodle dandy if you think. Well, I'm not. Uh, I mean, shoot, what a. Or is that it? You know, I mean, is there even any more? Do you think I should do this one while I'm here? Yeah, I think probably. Oh damn it! I totally disconnected my uh, my line too. You rascal! <laughs> you rascal! You all good? Yeah, I'm great. It's just, this tree is just brittle, dude. Yes, it is. It is not a good tree. Dude, that was a long piece. Yeah, that was like, that looks like 40 feet. Gotta be. May, maybe even, I don't know. That's Gotta be. Well, I mean, look at me, I'm 6'5". 
you know so <laughs> you sure you're selling six six i feel like you're, those boots give you an extra extra answer so yeah uh, so you know just take however much i am and just multiply it you know wow i am shocked that held this yeah i hate this tree I straight up oh, no. what time what time is it uh 10 30. <laughs> it's almost one. Oh, dude we're we're not getting this done today. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's that's just not in the cards. I don't want to say it, but I was thinking it. And when I heard it was one o'clock, we're not we're not gonna get this done today. I know it gets dark. Wait, I mean we're maybe halfway now. Maybe after I'm gonna go up there and get rid of these tops and uh, maybe try to get some of that stuff going. I don't know. What do you think? We're just keep plugging away at it. I mean, it honestly. At this point, because we know it's hopeless, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, like, we definitely want to leave in a situation where we can for sure finish it. But yeah, we both know it's not happening. No, today. yeah, it's not happening today. Well, we'll have to uh, definitely, I'll just keep plugging away at it and we'll call it around like, what time is it, one? Two, yeah, maybe we do another hour and then. Yeah, do another hour at it and then we'll, we'll call it and talk about coming back yeah because if we work till four we it doesn't we still have to come back anyways so and actually you know what uh might be a good idea i don't know how you feel about this but whittle the back a little more and maybe next time we can bring your bucket and park right here absolutely you know and then we can get all this crap over the shed yeah all that'll be i mean shoot but i'm thinking even with the bucket even with it like the wood and everything and so it'll just be way better i didn't even think about driving on there and we can get this whole side, even lowering the tops. I mean, honestly, the only thing we can't get with the bucket is all that back stuff, you know? <laughs> this tree straight up sucks, man. Dude, there's a lot of tree left too. Yeah, there. I mean, it's like you said, I get up here, it's like everything's begackled. It, it, it doesn't look that bad from the ground, but you get up there and it's so twisted. Yeah, everything's just bonkers. <laughs> some stuff on the way down the more the better right okay folks well this this tree is really frustrating nothing's going smoothly everything's tangled up and twisted big tree it's way bigger than me and Randy thought Randy looked at this tree before and even this morning I thought we both thought we both thought this was gonna go a lot faster so it's about a quarter past one right now. Sun goes down at four. Me and Randy are kind of on the same page. There's no point in like pushing really hard because we're not gonna finish this tree either way. We're only like halfway done with it. So we gotta come back anyway. So he's chunking down right now. We're gonna put the tools away. You know, it takes us about a half hour to put everything away where it goes. You know, the GRCS, the Regan line, the zip line, everything. So we're just gonna pack up for the day and uh, we gotta come back. That's just how it goes. Sometimes you, uh, you underestimate these trees. He's just chunking down the stick he's on right now and then we're out of here. I'm not sure when we'll be back. If ever, maybe we'll just not come back. <laughs> Good job, Randy. Hey, you too. I'm, I'm fully sorry and embarrassed <laughs> that I didn't, uh, I thought we would have this licked by, I thought it'd be, I'd be making a butt cut by now. Dude, I thought so too. I didn't even make a freaking dent. <laughs> it doesn't look like we did anything. <laughs> like if you look at it from here yeah, i'm just like dude there's still there's no stems all the way down there's no so bad all right folks sorry this is the last time jake will probably ever work with me <laughs> all right folks well we're out of here that's it for today we'll be back after the after the new after year's that. how'd you like that tree randy yeah it was it was it was a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the tree I feel stupid that was my, my. No, days. no, we both. I would have. I thought. I would have thought we could have done it in a day too. Looking at it, it wasn't right, until we got to the very. Back on it, we're a little overzealous. Our confidence level was at an all-time high. Yeah, it wasn't until we got to the tips that we realized uh, just the, the mistakes really that were made. Us. Yeah. Uh, so, but we'll be back after the. It's 
it's Christmas Eve Eve, so we'll be back next year to finish this part two. horrible tree.